Hey, what's happening? So George Lawrence Stone, Stick Control Book. So this is the book here. Now you can see it's quite a, even just by the cover, you can see it's quite an, an old book, but the information that's in it is still very usable. Now, once you first start to play snare drum and you start to be able to master just what you're doing with one hand, and then the other, we need to be able to play both of them. Now this book just gives you lots and lots of patterns, almost looks random patterns, to be able to get control over your sticks, hence the name stick control. So what I've done is an exercise that I learned a long time ago where it's just taken four of the random patterns through this book, of which there's probably 100, 200, and it's putting them into a structure that means that we can start to practice them. Now what we do is we get a check pattern. A check pattern for drummers is just where we play something that makes a certain sound. So in this case, it makes this. And whatever I play after that, this is going to be something completely different and I'm trying to make it sound like that. So I check it against the check pattern. So the check pattern in this one is four lots of sixteenth notes and I'm just going to be counting one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, right? If you've never counted in your life, think of a word, caterpillar, 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 caterpillar. So four lots of those sixteenths. I'm going to go real slow actually. And then you can see on the notation, the first thing I do then is I cha change the sticking pattern. I now go three rights with one left, like this. If I play it perfect, it's going to sound the same all the way through. Now lots of things are going to make it sound imperfect. If I play too loud on my right hand, if I've got sticks that don't match, i.e. the pitch or one snapped, um, if I play different parts of the snare drum, now we're never going to get it absolutely perfect, but you're trying to get your best to make both of the sticks, the pro the check pattern and the second part sound the same. That's how I felt as if I sped up a little bit or slowed down. Did I? Well, I'd only know by watching the video back. However, that's where our metronome comes in. So I'll set my metronome. I'll have a nice solid pulse to play with like this. Sixty-six beats a minute. Let's see if I can play with that. One, two, one. technique that I use for that will vary depending on what what the particular line that I'm playing in is going for so some people might want it quite stiff some might want it loose and everywhere in between just remember that as long as all of us look the same it's almost almost notice the word almost irrelevant what we do there are some benefits of being loose but there's also some benefits of being a little bit tighter when it comes to making everyone look the same. So next up then, all we do is we play the check pattern, we change the second part, we change to play the check pattern, third one and fourth one. You can get the book for quite cheap, it's a cheap one to buy, and you can just put your own patterns in here. I'll show you this one because this is one that I learned and I played quite a lot. So the second pattern is one right with three lefts. So let's play that after the check pattern. And then I'll play four in each hand, four rights, four lefts. And then the final one, I'm playing two rights, two lefts for the whole bar. Two. So 
how the whole exercise, start to end, quite simple. It's gonna get a lot more difficult the faster I play it or at certain tempos. So when I'm playing it quite slow, I can place every note. And when I'm playing it quick, I can kind of drop every note. There's awkward tempos in between where I'm not quite sure whether I'm placing it or letting the rebound do the work. Let's try a couple of tempos. So this is 66. Two. Let's have a go at 100. So that particular tempo for me, it was quite hard to get those doubles. Whereas the other parts that I played, the fours for instance, kind of flowed a little bit easier. So get your metronome out, find your tempos you're not very good at, practice it, change heights. You may have noticed that as I got faster, my heights were coming down. Get the book, stick any pattern you can think of in there. Book's got hundreds of them. If you got something from this lesson, please let me know in the comments, maybe subscribe, hit that little notification button and check back for the next one as soon as you can. See you soon.